Hey guys, before the video starts, I want you to watch this other video. This cool thing I made with my bros Chris and Corey. I'm gonna tell you guys how I made the sound effects. Watch this. Oh yeah. Yo, what's up guys? Josh here, aka Olufemi, playing around with my Ronin remote. Don't mind me. I wanted to give you this video, just really short video talking about two incredible pieces of advice that you should start using when you're doing sound design that will help you a ton. Specifically when you're talking about transition sound effects. Now real quick, speaking about sound effects, I keep getting these questions regarding my sound effects library on luxuryleaks.com. Where is it? Why don't I have it available anymore? That version is never gonna be available. I'm gonna have another version that's actually gonna be made up of completely original sound design that I'm gonna put up there and it'll be available to go download. The version that was there before was not original sound design. It was just a bunch of random sound effects that I had gotten um, over the years, ripped it off different areas of the internet and I just used it in my sound design library. And that's why I was giving it away for free because it wasn't my stuff so I couldn't sell it. So even though I was giving it away for free, I took it off because I didn't want to have to deal with any copyright issues or anything down the line because it wasn't my sound effects and I really didn't know where the sound effects originated from. So I didn't want to have to deal with any possible, oh, you know, you weren't supposed to be giving that away. That was supposed to, you know, copyright stuff. It's not my stuff to give away, right? So take note. That sound effects library is being created by my team and it's gonna be available soon at LuxuryLeaks.com. I'll keep you updated. But in the meantime, these two awesome pieces of advice when you're dealing with transition sound effects. Most of the time, that's gonna be whoosh sound effects. Number one, using a low pass filter. A lot of the time, you know, you take your wishes from the internet, whether it be off of YouTube or anywhere off the internet, you download it and you put it right in your timeline. That's the furthest where a lot of people just stop and you have that effect. It usually doesn't sound that good though. If you put a low pass filter on it and adjust the settings, it's gonna give you a really low rumbling sound. The low pass filter basically just takes the lowest frequencies and it makes your whoosh effects or a lot of other sound transitional sound effects look incredible. Number two, you can go into speed duration and change the speed, make the sound effect either slower or faster. If you make it slower, the sound effect will take more time to um, take effect. It will actually give you a lower rumblier sound as well, but it will take, but most of, importantly, it'll just take longer for it to take effect. So if your transition, your visual transition, is longer then your sound effect will be able to be stretched longer to cover the entire visual transition um, you can also make it faster by speeding up your sound effect so guys those two pieces of advice i really think will help you create the most incredible transition sound effects again take note sound effects library coming soon love you guys